120 millimeter IOs are a cheap solution to water cooling. You pay 50 euros and bam, you got water cooling. But performance is so bad that a cheap or near on par air cooler is nearly better. So are 120mm AIOs a scam? So make sure you subscribe. Now there's no doubt if you have a full size ATX case, getting a 120mm AO is a complete not a waste of money and a terrible idea. Because for like 20 to 30 years more, you can get a 240mm AO, which is double the rad space, therefore way better cooling. So why do 120mm AOs exist? Well let's say you want to build a small micro ATX PC case with a powerful CPU. A big air cooler or 240mm AO would do just fine if they could actually fit. But one way to work around this is simply make the parts smaller. And they did do that with air coolers, only problem is, is that you have a powerful CPU, so the air cooler can't exactly keep up. So they got a 120 meter area, which performs better than the smaller air cooler. How do companies try to compensate for that lost room from sizing from a 240 meter area down to 120? Well, it's pretty simple. You can't go length, so you go radiator thickness. So 120 meter areas are really only good for small form factor PC cases, with really powerful CPUs, because being able to cool a CPU so powerful with a tiny ass air cooler just isn't going to work. You're going to have to go liquid. If you have a full size ATX case, then just do not get a 120, get a 240. Subscribe.